Welcome back, A Push Piece, video number three, Spanish exploration and colonization. This is key concept 1.2, Roman numeral two, letters A through D. We are almost done with period one. Before we get shout out time, Mrs. Reed's class at Northbrook High School. Shout out to you. Thank you for your support and watching and good luck this year. All right, impacts of Spanish exploration. You definitely need to be familiar with this. Probably the largest impact is deadly epidemics that affected Native Americans. We touched on this a little bit last video. Diseases like smallpox and malaria that killed as many as 90% of natives in some areas, mostly due to the fact that they were not immune to European diseases because they were cut off from Europe. Also, new animals and crops that were not found in the Americas include horses, which transformed native life on the Great Plains through hunting, and crops as well. Things like wheat, rice, and sugar began to grow in the Americas, and this was a very arduous, hard labor process and took a lot of work in order to grow these crops, especially sugar. Okay, the Spanish instituted what is known as the encomienda system in their colonies, and this is when Native American labor was marshaled. This is a term that you should be familiar with. It's identified in the APUSH curriculum, and that means arranged or assembled on plantations. So Native Americans were forced to work on plantations and in mines. And the encomienda system was created by Nicholas de Avando. And the goal was to use labor for agriculture and precious metals such as gold and silver and they would use Native Americans in mines. And eventually after what is known as the new laws were passed in the early 1500s which forbid Native American labor on encomienda systems, the encomienda system will be replaced by African slave labor. So let's jump over to the beginnings of African slavery. Europeans partnered with West African groups to obtain African slaves. They would forcibly ex extract slave labor for the Americas. And millions of Africans were kidnapped and forced into slavery in the Americas. And the Spanish imported slaves to work on plantations and in mines. Again, specifically looking for gold and silver in those mines and growing things like sugar on plantations. A Spanish caste system will develop that incorporates Europeans, Africans, and natives, these different groups that are living in the Spanish colonies. And this carefully defined the status of each group. And often it mattered where you were born or who your parents. All right, let's do a quick recap for this video. What is the impact of Spanish exploration on the Americas, especially for Native Americans? What was the encomienda system? What were reasons that African slavery developed? And what was the Spanish caste system? Be able to identify and explain what makes somebody a member of the caste system, of a specific place in the caste system. All right, look forward to see you back here for video number four. It's the final one of period one, interactions between natives and Europeans. Thank you for watching and have a good day.